Hi, I'm Don Granado. I am the uh, U17 national team coach. We're here this weekend at the AHI Player Development and Selection Camp for Bantam and Midget Age players. There's a lot of things that uh, encompass becoming a good player and the kids at this camp are very, very talented players, but they have a long way to go in their development. Everybody thinks of you know skating and passing and shooting as integral parts of development, and they are, but at the higher level it goes way beyond that. They're always making impressions on people, both on the ice and off of the ice. Believe it or not, how they use the internet will be indicative of, of your character. So as a team manager and coach, the next levels of hockey for these players, the organizations uh, look at that far more than these kids would understand. Decisions are made based on uh, their reputation. Through the youth levels, it's typically the parent and the family that invests in the player. And these players aspire to play college hockey and professional hockey. There's a dramatic shift and change. And no longer are the parents investing, but the teams are now investing in the player. You've got to earn a roster spot, and you've got to re-earn it almost every day. The coaches and evaluators are often very tomorrow-oriented. They're trying to project what this player potential may be a, a year from now or two years from now. Players and parents think it's the end of the world if their kid didn't make the team. Really, no, it's not. It's just one more stepping stone if, uh, if they're to have a, you know, a career in this business of, of hockey or athletics. No matter how good the player is, the career is an evolution and those players have to engage in their own development. There's not a player that, that I could imagine that could play this be involved in the sport and not be positively affected by um, being part of it.